Alright guys, what is up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to go over Keepa, right? So Keepa is an Amazon Chrome extension. It's also a standalone website that basically is a Amazon price tracker, okay? Why you should use it is basically no matter what business model you have on Amazon, if you're doing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, or private label, Keepa is going to be a tool that's essential to any Amazon seller's toolkit. Even if you don't sell on Amazon, right, and you're shopping on Amazon, Keepa is actually really, really convenient for you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and kind of dive into like how I use it within my business and how I use it within my personal life. Just so you know, you know, Keepa has over 897,000 users, so it's not like I'm the only person that knows about this. So if you don't know about it, then you're one of you know, <laughs> the people that are missing out on this train and you have a disadvantage because you don't know about what Keepa is and you should probably install it by the time you're done watching this video. So basically Keepa for an Amazon seller, it gives you the seller's history, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into like how I use it within my business and how buyers actually use it too, okay? So, you know, to download Keepa, first of all, what you're gonna go ahead and do is go to Chrome Web Store and then you just type in Keepa. I'll post in a link in the comments below so it's easy for you guys to reach. But basically, you're gonna look for like this kind of logo and Amazon Price Tracker. Just add it to Chrome, like any Chrome extension, and they make it super easy to install. And then now, every time you go on an Amazon page, you're gonna basically see this. So I have like two examples basically pulled up for you guys so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So normally, you know, you have this Amazon page, but if you scroll down, right, this is where it gets like really, really interesting. So what I do, right, when I see a Amazon product, I would like to go ahead and basically see what is going on with the historical sales of a product, okay? And the reason why this is popular is past indicators on Amazon of historical sales can be a good indicator of future sales uh, on products on Amazon. I know that's kind of weird because I know in stocks, people always say like past indication of, you know, sales and profits or not things of the future, which is also true, you know, in this case, but it is a good data point for you to analyze whatever niche you're going into, right? So I'll kind of speak on a level of private label sellers. So say I want to get into the peanut game, right? So I would like to know that, you know, at the price that's selling it right now, right, at $16.95, do they always sell it at $16.95 or is there other prices that are sold on it at $16.95, right? So the way I have it, oh, let me just jump into the settings, okay? So let's talk about settings. The way I like to have it configured at is I will turn on sales rank, I will turn on new third party FBA. I don't really care about fulfilled by merchant sellers. I do care about a new offer count, rating, and review count, uh, depending on your business model. But essentially, right, you kind of want to see like what the graph is doing with the product, right, and see like how the product changes, right? So if this was, you know, in the wholesale instance, you can kind of tell that, hey, the price is going up, price is going down, right? You can also see like how steadily the reviews have been coming, and then you can also see this thing that says new offer count, how many people are selling this product itself, right? You can jump into like the all data and then it'll show you everything that they have for this. You can check the month or three months, right? Highly recommend at least checking three months and then at least a year and all uh, sections, right? Another thing you wanna know too is you wanna look at the statistic thing, right? So instead of trying to figure out what the average was, right? You can just go here to understand what the average is for you know, the sales price, right? So in the last 90 days, the average selling price was 899 or 878, right? And then the average sales rank was 32,000, okay? So this gives you an idea of what the sales rank has been like, but it also gives you a really good idea of where it's been at its lowest and highest peak points, right? So at the lowest, in 2013, the price dropped to 556 and the lowest rank, um, that it got to was 3,000. So this product was like selling like hotcakes for you know one point in 2015. But as of right now, as of two hours ago, the sales rank is 80,000, and then items selling for 878, right? So this is a really good way to kind of look at you know how this product has been doing, how it's going to do possibly in the future, right? So if you notice that there's like huge discrepancies between the average and what it's currently and then you see it like spiking all over the place and you can kind of understand that maybe this their person is doing a launch on amazon you know if they're doing private label or if like the price drops like how it affects sales rank right what also other people don't really look at too 
uh, is data, all right? So within data, right, it's really nice because it shows you a little bit more of a detailed page, right, for the product. So we're gonna let it go ahead and load it quick. So for some reason, it's not pulling up on my screen. It might just be because some of my configurations, but it'll show you all these data for like the current sales rank, the 30 day, 60 day, 90 day, 180 day average, all these little metrics for you to kind of base your stuff on too. What you can also do is check out the offers. Before, before like Amazon nerfed the data, you used to be able to see the uh, stock history of every single Amazon seller and see like how much inventory they had in stock and how much like it like periodically sold. But now you can't really see that, but you still can compare like how many prime sellers there are, right? Um, how many Amazon sellers there are on the actual listing, right? And see this data. And you can configure between 7, 30, 180. 80 days right so that's one example of like how i use it in terms of like wholesale slash private label i'll just kind of walk through it again with like a different product right so say this this is probably like a private label product kind of tell by the funky name um, and the review count but so this guy is selling socks right low cut athletic socks so if we scroll down and we kind of just like see Say like we want to get into sock game, we just kind of want to see how this guy's been doing, right? So let's see, this guy kind of started selling his product, uh, maybe he created his listing around here, right? And he probably did some, merge some Amazon listings, right? See, you can see the jump from like 14 to 65 somehow and then it dropped down. So he did some like manipulation here, right? But by the time he actually launched, right, he launched his product and he got all the way to 571. Right, uh, or that really, you know, 760, right? And he was at 56 reviews. So there's probably some shady stuff going on right here. But that's what Keepa like helps you identify, okay? So, but as you move on, you kind of see that his sales rank, you know, moves around a little bit. It spikes up right here because possibly he ran out of stock. That's what this little gap in between is usually. But he's steadily getting reviews at an organic rate. It doesn't seem too crazy. Usually, if it's like that, then that means there's something going on. But, um, it's, his price was pretty consistent at 19.99 and gave him the sales rank. You know that's kind of steadily around here, but he did drop it at to 18.99. But for some reason, he saw you know a bigger spike in his sales rank when he dropped it to 18.99. So it's actually probably better for him to sell it at 19.99 than at 18.99. Statistically, his product, you know, was on average selling at 19.99. His average sales rank was about 12,000. Okay. So that's kind of like uh, what I do to look at um, new products. And then you can tell this is a private label seller too because the new offer count just stays at one the entire time, right? So that's how you can identify who's a private label seller, who's doing things like that. Other than that, I wouldn't really check the data for any like private label products. Sometimes you might want to look at it if you're doing like retail arbitrage or arbitrage or wholesale. But yeah, that's Keepa 101 for sellers. As a buyer, what's really nice is you can actually track this product. So say like I, you know, like I wanted to catch whenever like there was a price drop on this item, right? Like 1049 or 1899 or say I was like trying to buy, like I did this with like a solid state hard drive and I was like, I want to get a good deal on this. And I know like regularly it's like 250, but every once in a while it would drop down to 175. What you can do is you can track the product and you can choose uh, to tell Amazon to alert you whenever like the sell happens or anything like that so you can't get your item for cheaper. So as a buyer, this is kind of nifty. If you're shopping on Amazon and you want a really good deal, then like this just alerts you by sending an email out. But yeah, so that's what this video is about. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with any other way that you use Keepa. Because if you guys are using it in some other way, I would love to know. Um, and if I'm using it wrong, right, please let me know in the comments below. But other than that, have a good day, guys. Thank you.